Ah. I might have to have you open that. Welcome to the Whiskey Vault. I'm Daniel. I'm Rex. This is a gift from patron saint Brian Lovato. Brian Lovato, you patron saint of whiskey. You got, you got like an earring. That sounds del like she's delicate. Yeah, delicate. <laughs> hey, Daniel. Can you open this? So. You calling it a real man? Yeah. Well, when you, oh, you, you, you do it like I do. So my mic could do it that way. What are you When do? I'm trying to grab something really hard, I wrap my middle finger and clamp it down like that because I'm always used to a climbing grip. Right. And then I twist and I can't do that right now. My finger is still it's okay. injured. It's okay. No one's going to make fun of you in the comments. <laughs> that definitely well. won't happen. Dude, I injured that finger on the first day of the vacation with the boys. And if you do make fun of Daniel in the yeah. comments, that's just not necessary yeah. at all. Why would you do such a uh, thing? Day one. <laughs> day one of a two-week vacation with the boys. Yeah. Jump out and push off through the pool, mm -hmm. like full on cut through the water style. Mm -hmm. Get to the other side and about 10 feet sooner than I thought I would. Because <laughs> I didn't have goggles, and so it's really hazy. Right. It was and a then, small pool. So straight, yeah, straight well, you were fingered. Bath. You were in the bath. Right? Yeah, I get bathtub. <laughs> straight fingered into the wall. Bam! Damn. Jammed that just solid into the concrete. So you're, you're not built for vacations. Evidently not. I'm, <laughs> my body was like, what are you doing? <laughs> yeah. Uh, it swelled up to twice this size. <laughs> And that was what three weeks ago. Yeah, I still, as soon as I hit here, pain shoots through my palm and down my forearm. Yeah, yeah. All right. I picked up a coffee mug and well, almost dropped if it. If you ever need a real man, yeah, then the comments will tell you where to find one. Yeah, I wonder if I actually br like fractured something because it seems like too long for a jammed finger. We have. Downstream whiskey Camp handcrafted in Hood River, Oregon. Now this is actually kind of cool because the last time we tried Hood River, it was people who were sourcing stuff and selling it as Hood River. These guys are actually making whiskey in Hood River, Oregon, you know, okay. over by Mount Hood. Sure. Um, which is the first place I ever went sledding in my entire life mm -hmm. was Mount Hood when my, uh, my relatives lived over there. Oh. And anyway, these guys, um, Chris Taylor and Roy Slayton, mm -hmm. Uh, the name's based on the Lewis and Clark expedition. Yeah. Because they actually stopped in Hood River or in the Columbia Gorge. They went through it. Yeah. Uh, this is 100% malt whiskey from the Pacific Northwest. They aged in a variety of 15 gallon and then they moved to uh, American oak. Interesting. Newark. So this is, look at the old timey photos of the two of them looking off into the distance, <laughs> like Lewis and Clark. Yeah. That's kind of awesome. It's just two dudes. Yeah. But, just, with cross hatching. <laughs> they're wearing t-shirts too. It's not even like dressed up or anything. Just looking in the distance. <laughs> uh, 43%. They call it downstream whiskey. I think because it's moved through a bunch of different kinds of barrels, yeah. they can't really call it malt or single category thing. It's just whiskey. Okay. Now, the it smells good. The, yeah, the 43% is not leaping out of the glass. You can tell it's a little bit lower in the proof, wow. but it is a nice nose. What the is fruit. there? What is You got fruit? Lots of fruit. Pear, slight citrus, almost orange like clementines. See, I wasn't coming at it from a fruit angle. I was coming at it from the a little bit of, an, of the vanilla note that you get in yeah. Irish. Yeah. Yeah, it's, well, I get like a malted vanilla. Yeah. And then a slight hay, but not grass, just like dried hay. I'm getting um, maybe a little bit, a tiny bit of graham cracker in the background. Yep. That's a nice nose. It's a really nice nose. Yeah. I like that. It's very vibrant. It feels a little young, but like yeah. not bad. I don't mean like, oh, it's young whiskey. I mean, it just feels, uh, instead of darker and mm -hmm. denser and softer, it feels sparkly and Yeah, alive. so far, the only thing that I'm not in love with is the fact that I can tell... This is in the low 40s because it the amount of intensity that's in this nose, you got to go hunting a little bit. But once you find it, there's a lot of layers there. Yeah. All right. All right. I'm doing it. I'm going in, Daniel. Mm. Safety first. Oh, I like that. It, again, it's, it's kind of brittle and a little metallic, but it's got all these other things behind it. 
It does taste a little thin. Yeah, so it's thin at the 43%. Yeah. And I don't get metallic. I do get shiny and brittle. Mm -hmm. But it finishes nicely. There's as, as much as I say it's shiny, there is a creaminess to that palette yeah. a little. It's a, it's a vanilla cream finish that frankly is still going. Mm -hmm. This is a really nice finish. Well, that's the... Oh, like, I like that. That's like the Irish vanilla cream I was talking about on the nose. Yes. It shows up on the taste. It's vanilla cream with a little bit of a tangy... I'm going to attribute that to the wood and the oak. This like kind of tanginess at the very end. It's not mm -hmm. quite bitter and not quite wood tannin, mm -hmm. but it's just... Um, a little oak tang. Yeah, I would actually attribute, make point this in the direction of Ir Irish pot still mm -hmm. more than I would scotch. Mm-hmm. You know? Really fruity and beautiful. The fruit, oh, well done. The fruit shows up for me mm -hmm. on the taste. Yeah. Not so much on the nose. And still there on the nose, but I can see what you mean by Irish. Yeah. Uh, I, I, again, to your point, it is a little thin, a little young, but with things that are there, Oh man, it's a, it's a, like a lot of promise. Oh yeah. Uh, I'm thinking some more time. I would drink it happily now, but I would be really excited to what's, see what I, comes next. I don't see anything developing in here that I would be concerned about. Oh yeah. You know, becoming more concentrated nope. and intense and off off balance. Not at all. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Very cool. Did, did nice, you say guys. there was an age on these? An age no, statement there's no age statement. We don't actually know. Hmm. Because it's just a generic whiskey. Yeah. So you can't. Yeah. Age statements become problems in certain categories. Yeah. I keep wanting to go back to it. Yeah. Mm. Maybe if they watch this, they can put in the description their comments. Here's how old this whiskey is. Because mm. I would guess. Yeah. Between one to two years, or maybe actually, that's not true. I would guess around an, a year. I wouldn't be surprised if it was eight months. Okay. Uh, because I, I, I know it's what happens in ours around that timeline. Yeah. I wouldn't be surprised. That's very small barrels. But it's Oregon, though. Yeah, that's very small barrels in Texas. I know, but this is. They were small barrels too. Oh. Uh, um, not uh, maybe not all fives, but they were small barrels. Right. I wouldn't be surprised if it was between eight and fifteen months. Yeah. Okay. Okay. And that's why I'd like. Man, now that we said on the size Irish, the yeah. I keep coming back to green apple. Okay. And if you think of this as Irish whiskey, it's so right down home plate all of a sudden. Well, you do not get that quintessential shortbread cookie. No, but you That's get green there. spot. Mm. It's closer to green spot for me. Well, in addition mm. to it being young and a little shiny. Yeah. Oh, I like that. Yeah. But again, Damn you, Pacific but again, Northwest. But again, grading on the curve. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's it's whiskeys. Young. Yeah. yeah. It's, like, it's young, but oftentimes in young whiskeys, they feel a little brash. They're throwing some elbows. The balance is trying to figure out what it wants to be. This has some nicely balanced flavors, good flavors, nothing that's concerning as it develops. Oh. But you got to be prepared for it. It tastes a little young. It yeah. tastes a little young. Dominic Masserti, uh, let it be known throughout the land, I have officially watched all of the Whiskey Vault videos from beginning to end. <laughs> I'd like to thank my job for ignoring me enough to watch. <laughs> To allow me to watch so many videos, and of course, the great and powerful Chad. Yes. <laughs> for giving me the strength to do this. <laughs> I love that the power Chad is becoming a thing. The great Chad. I don't want to ever lose Chad. that. The great Chad. Because <laughs> all cult needs is its own is a real religion, right. and we finally have one. The Chad. We built from the ground up. We built a cult, then we built figureheads right. and saints. And now, and now we're finally now arriving. Now we need a deity. What is it? A deity. A chod. Chod. <laughs> <laughs> we also have a poet laureate who's always putting four stanza poems in all the videos now. Yeah, we do. So we've got a, a bard. <laughs> <laughs> Turner Jazz. I fully support doing re-reviews. There have been so many obscure and craft whiskeys on the channel lately that I'd love to see new reviews of things I can actually go by. Yeah, well. Yeah. So this is balancing so it. Yeah. This is balancing act between do we have something new to, mm -hmm. you know, offer in like a, a bottle we are revisiting? Right. Or do we need to get through the bottles you bastards are sending? Yeah. So we can have gone through them. Yeah. And then die someday yeah. without feeling really bad on our death pit. Yeah, like, I can't believe they sent the whiskey and we didn't get around to it. Uh, uh. <laughs> <laughs> uh yeah. It'll be me passing a medallion torch and you the psalm necklace to like Gideon or here something. Here are our children. Yeah, here are children. Uh, <laughs> ow, my back. 
Dad, I only like cocktails. Uh, give me the will, you're out. <laughs> uh, yeah, like this has a lot of potential. Yep. What's in there is nice. Mm -hmm. uh, there are some shortcomings that you're gonna get with pretty much anything young. Shortcomings but. that are only because of youth, not because of the quality of the spirit. Watch us into being like a 15 year old whiskey. That would be yeah. amazing. Best I could uh, Here's to fighting, stealing, and drinking. If you fight me, I fight for a friend. If you steal, may you steal your liver, sir. And if you drink, may, may you drink, drink with us. <laughs>